Welcome to the Tool Hype channel. Today we have a 2016 Silverado. The shop has replaced the body control module. We're going to program it and set it up. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, my name's Sam. I'm a mobile programmer from the Detroit area. Today, we have a 2016 Chevy Silverado that the shop has replaced the body control module. I'm just gonna go through this setup process on the body control module. I am using uh, AC Delco subscription, Genuine. I'm also using GDS2, the GM global diagnostic system software. So I'm gonna go walk you through the process of getting this body control module set up. It does take a lot longer than I expected, but you know, it is what it is. Let's get going. Okay, first thing you gotta do is you have to go to acedocotds.com. That's tomdavidsam.com. We're gonna, once we get our Java loaded and all the good stuff, we're going to choose our J2534 tool and tell it that we're replacing the body control module. The shop has already replaced the body control module. We're just here to program it. So I'm going to ID the truck here. It's a 2016 Silverado. pulls up the VIN here. We're just going to choose the body control module and we're going to go to programming. Always pay attention to the middle section there. It's got programming and then it's got setup and typically the programming is done first and then the setup is done afterwards. So we got all the green check marks over on the left hand side, so we're just going to hit next and we're just going to let it program. And I did speed up the, the bar going across the bottom just for, just so we didn't have to sit here and watch the paint dry. So once it starts programming here, it does download it from the internet first. I know there's a lot of concern about losing internet connection, stuff like that. I am on a hot spot. I do this all the time with a hot spot. So once it starts to program here, the reason I bring that up is because the top bar is the download from the internet and then from your laptop into the, tr into the vehicle is the bottom bar. So there's really nothing that can happen if you lose internet connection. Okay, so we're just like I say, I've sped up this, this bar, believe it or not. I wanted to do the video on this truck because every one of these I've done, I have problems with. Not problems you can't overcome, but they're just different problems. This one is pretty typical of the problems you see. Uh, actually, this one had all the problems that you run into, so you're going to get to see the whole thing. So we get an unknown error during the programming event. 
notice I don't stop over, freak out, start over, freak out, nothing like that. I just let it do its thing here. It gets another unknown error. I'm just going to hit the OK button once it proceeds here. We're just going to let it do its thing again. It'll start over. And for, I don't know why it fails the first time, but it almost never fails the second time. I have seen them fail as many as three times. It just seems that they have a problem getting the software to load in these body control modules. But if you're persistent, whatever you do, whatever you do, do not turn the key off. If you turn the key off, you're putting another body control module in it. Maybe if somebody's nice enough at AC Duckle, they can help you unlock it. But typically not. You get to put another one in it. This is an AC Duckle body control module as well, by the way, from the dealer. Not real sure that I would... Uh, be comfortable trying to program an aftermarket body control module one of these trucks but you never know if I get called to do one I'm sure I'll do one the failure rate so high on these it's unreal so we're just gonna let it finish its thing here let it finish programming usually once it gets past about 60% or so, 65%, it's almost always uh, will, will uh, proceed properly. So there's a kind of a glitch between 50 and 65% for some reason. But once you get past that, it seems pretty seamless. Okay, once it gets done with its program in here, you get a message that it passed. Once the ignition on and then press next. Remember the setup functions, the brake pedal position, learn and all that stuff. It's going to want to try to do those here. So this almost always fails. So on and off and then back on. Oh, this is the odometer reset. I apologize. This is the odometer. And then we're going to get a pass pass. And of course, it won't doesn't give you the option to proceed with the same VIN on this truck for some reason. So we have to start over again. Dice Ace Duckle. Somebody from AC Duckle's watching. Hey, they'd be great if you just could go with the same VIN. The program has enough anomalies, and now they're making it more difficult. So. We know what we got to do, though. Pulls up the VIN again. It's still the same. It's still the right one. So we're going to go to Body Control Module. This time we're going to go to Setup. I'm going to choose Next. And this is where we need to do these four functions. Like I say, the brake pedal position, for some reason, almost always fails. yellow triangle means it failed so I always try it twice but we're gonna we're gonna beat it to death here yeah it failed again so we're gonna hit cancel now okay so now we're gonna get GDS2 out it's the only way I have figured out how to do these ID the vehicle. Everybody and their warnings about using the scan tool in the in the vehicle. We're just going to go to module diagnostics here. We're going to go to the body control module. There, 
just halogen headlights. Not that it makes any difference for what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the configuration reset. We're going to do the brake pedal position sensor learn here. This almost always works. You can see where it says the value says no, it hasn't learned. It's going to turn to yes. And once it turns to yes, uh, we're just going to go back and read some codes here. Notice uh, to put the SDM part number in the from the body control module into the uh, deployment module is not here. So kind of frustrating because we're going to have to go back. So it, it is an up-level radio. Again, not that it makes, makes any difference for what we're doing. It does not have seat memory. So we're just going to read the codes here. We've got a whole bunch of codes. Uh, remember, programming causes codes, and I have not cleared the codes from programming. Besides that, they put a new body control module in it, so they probably had a whole bunch of codes and other modules based on what was the body control module was doing. I, I do not know the symptoms of this vehicle. <coughs> so we're just going to clear the codes out of this whole truck. We're just going to choose all the modules here and clear the DTCs. Kind of scroll through them, but... I know what we're doing, so we're just going to hit add all. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to get all the message that you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. We do want to do it. OK, so we're going to end up with a couple of codes in the body control module and the airbag module. Pastor Presence module. No. So it says no DTCs in the airbag module. A couple of key cycles it will return. Uh, it will be option con configuration code. So we'll just keep letting it refresh here. Yep, there it is. So now we got us a code. We go back and we'll see option configuration in the airbag module. That's because we have not put the part number from the body control module in the airbag module yet. It's part of the setup. So now we get to go back to AC Duck again. Getting kind of repetitive here, isn't it? We did do a theft learn on this truck as well, by the way. I don't know if I showed you that or if it got deleted out of there, but we did do a theft learn. The truck does start and run. I'm just going to skip that wrapper. It fails anyway. Maybe they'll fix it in the next few days. There's a lot of things that GM and Acelaco could do with this program, but nobody seems interested in fixing it. So I guess we'll just deal with it. Doesn't seem to be any interest in fixing it when it doesn't bother the engineers. So we're going to run all these setup functions again. The only thing we did was the brake pedal position learn in the GDS2. And so it should be successful now. I don't know why it can't do the brake pedal position learn. Most scan tools would do the brake pedal position learn, so it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of a pain that you got to keep switching back and forth. So there's our SDM part number in the body control module. Now it wants the tire. Uh, these are D range. Yeah, it's actually got aftermarket wheels on it, but it won't let me 
put in here what it's got so we're just gonna leave it alone we'll put in what the what the sticker says the sticker on the door sticker on the door said 210 kPa I believe no I'm sorry 240 240 kPi which is the same as 35 psi for us Americans gonna do the front and then the rear Don't have to relearn the sensors though, which is kind of cool. It tell you you do, and then it'll it'll uh, pull the IDs out of the remote control, remote function actuator module, or remote control door lock receiver. I don't know which one this truck has, but anyway, it pulls the data from another module, I assume. Because it doesn't take but just a second to do this. They all say no, and then all of a sudden they say, I'll say yes. I didn't speed that part up. That's what they do. All right, shows we're finished. And by the way, all my lights are off on the dash now. Everything's good to go. Have a great day. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below.